Hannah from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this terrific little coin purse. Yes, this coin frame coin purse is a super simple beginner sewing project that anybody with basic sewing skills can make in absolutely no time at all. The beauty of this project is you use a little bit of machine sewing, a little bit of hand sewing, and you get this terrific little coin purse that is perfect for your coins, perfect for gifts, just a perfect little beginner sewing project that uses all your sewing skills right from the very beginning. So how do we do this? Well, let's get started. But before we do, I'm gonna ask that you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this video and ding that bell to give lots of uh, notifications for all of my other videos that are upcoming in the future so that you can keep on top of what's going on with So Very Crafty. So today, we're gonna do this coin purse, so let's get started. What do we need for this terrific little coin purse? The first thing we need is one of these metal coin frame purse snap uh, pieces. And I will put the link to these in the comment section of the tutorial. And this is a eight and a half centimeter coin, metal coin purse snap frame. It's about 3.3 .3 inches or so, um, but it's eight and a half centimeters for this particular pattern. You're gonna need the pattern piece, and the pattern piece will be in the uh, comment section as well. You are going to need some outer fabric, and I chose this really cute little bug fabric that I actually found in my garage, uh, cleaning out my garage. I must have had this 20 years or more, probably longer. It's been sitting in my garage uh, for who, who knows how long. And you're gonna need some lining pieces and a couple of pieces of interfacing. And I've chosen some SF101 from Pellon uh, just to give a little support. You don't necessarily need that uh, depending on the weight of fabric that you use, but I thought I would add just this sort of lightweight woven interfacing to my project today. And you're also going to need a needle and thread because we're going to sew on our purse frame. So once we have our pieces, we are going to take our pattern piece and we are going to cut out two pieces of interfacing, two pieces of lining, and two pieces of outer fabric. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to fuse our interfacing to the wrong side of our outer fabric pieces. So I'm just gonna head over to my iron real quick and I'm going to fuse that on there. Uh, if you don't know how to fuse interfacing, it's very simple. You're just gonna use a hot iron and you're gonna press this interfacing until the glue side of the interfacing fuses into the fabric of the outer uh, fabric piece and it becomes one so that you can use them as one piece of fabric. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now we have fused our interfacing onto the wrong side of our fabric. And now we are going to place our fabrics right sides together. And we're going to go to the sewing machine and do two things. We are going to stitch along the bottom here using a one quarter inch seam allowance and just this side part before the angle using a one quarter inch seam allowance. And we're gonna take our lining pieces and we're gonna place those right sides together and we're going to stitch 
a little ways on each side of the lining because we're going to leave an opening here in this lining piece and we're also going to stitch on the sides. Now I'm not going to show you on camera uh, how to do that because these are just straight stitches but make sure that you leave an opening in the lining because we are going to be turning this uh, right sides out to move on to our next step. So I'm going to head over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew these up to, and then we'll be right back. Okay, now we have two pieces of our coin purse that we have stitched the sides and the bottom and we've left an opening here on our lining. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to box our corners and you're wondering how we do that. Well, you'll notice that there's a little hole here because we didn't stitch that hole. We are going to place our bottom seam and our side seam together so that it forms this line right across and it closes up that hole. And we're gonna do that for all four of our corners. Now I am doing a process called nesting Rather than opening up my seams, I am nesting these seams together so that when I turn this right sides out, my seams are nice and even uh, on both the bottom and the side. And if you look inside there, you'll be able to see that those seams are nested. And the way that works is I have one seam going one way and one seam going the other way. And I'm just clipping those together. And I'm doing that on both sides. And we are going to repeat this process for our lining. Now I prefer to use these wonder clips uh, for this process. You could use pins if you like, but I'll put a link in the comments section if you are interested in purchasing uh, wonder clips for your project. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna head back to the sewing machine and we are just going to stitch right across this corner where we have placed our clips using a one quarter inch seam allowance. And we're gonna do that on all four corners. So I'm gonna run and do that, and then I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so we have stitched our two coin purse pieces uh, together. And you'll notice that I have placed uh, my outer piece right sides out. Now I'm going to place it inside my lining piece so that the two right sides are facing each other. I'm gonna match up these side seams. And I'm just gonna place a couple of clips here on the corners. and on the top, but you don't need to uh, use clips if you don't want to. Um, if you're a more advanced sewist, this is such a small project that you really do not need to use clips. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch all the way around our coin purse at the top We'll start at one seam and just stitch all the way around and we'll come back and we will move on to our next step. Okay, here we are at the sewing machine. 
and we are going to stitch all the way around our coin purse top with our pieces right sides together. And I'm just gonna start at one of the side seams. And again, we're using a one quarter inch seam allowance. When we get to the corner, we are gonna drop our needle pivot and continue sewing. That's all there is to it. We have stitched our top all the way around. We're going to snip off these thread ends and we're going to head over to the workstation and move on to our next step. Okay, so here we are back at our workstation and we are going to pull our outer piece through the opening that we left in our lining. And that's gonna be just a simple process of pulling this through. And you'll see that our lining and our outer piece are connected. Now we need to We can stitch our opening closed here using ladder stitch or our machine. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just going to stuff this inside so that our lining and our outer piece are together. And then I'm going to head over to the iron and I'm just gonna iron our little top here uh, so that it's nice and flat so that when we add our purse frame it'll be nice and easy to do. So I'll be right back. Okay now we have our purse frame. So what do we do with it? Well it's two-sided and it's got a little trench between the back side and the front side. And we're gonna slide our top part, I refer to this as the tongue, in between those two pieces, the, the little slot there. Now, a lot of people uh, tape this before they sew it. What I like to do is just take some thread and sew some giant stitches like a basting stitch if you will to hold this together while I do my regular stitching on this. So just sti stitch a, a couple of uh, stitches in here so that this is sewn on here in a way that will 
make it easier for you to stitch on the frame because I assure you that the frame can be very fidgety to uh, stitch on if you're trying to do it without holding it. The other option that you have is to glue this frame on here um, and there are a lot of glueable frames that people use for these uh, for these uh, purse frame handbags. So if you can find those, that's great. And the glue that I like to use for this is kind of difficult to find, um, but it's called Gooderman's, and it's a European glue, but it works perfect for this particular project. But for our purposes today, we are going to stitch our purse frame onto our bag because that's the kind of purse frame that I happen to have on hand. I'm just going to stitch a few big stitches here. Whoops. Keep this in place. And that should be fine. And as you can see, our purse frame is on there nice and neat. And we can open and close it if we want. But now we need to go and stitch our purse frame onto our bag for good. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to take our thread and we're going to double that thread and knot it at the bottom and simply start on one side from the inside so that we don't we don't um, show our knot actually I think I'm going to And this is a very fidgety little process, but don't worry, it can be done. Oops, I must not have knotted my thread. And you don't want your thread to be too long for this because um, otherwise it gets wrapped around itself and you end up with a big knot and you don't want that. It's easy to want to have enough thread to do one whole side, but I don't really recommend that, um, to be honest. I have learned from experience on these that it is best to use shorter pieces of thread Simply go in and out.
Now, what I like to do is once I get to my third hole here, I like to go back to my second hole because I don't want any gaps. I want to have a nice um, thread all the way through to the end of my project. So we're going to be going in and out and in and out until we're finished. I'm not going to do that now, but once we have completed that, our little uh, coin purse is finished, and that's all there is to making a coin purse with a metal clasp coin frame at the top. And these are such fun uh, little projects to make. It is a beginner sewing project, and they, these make great little gifts. I would recommend um, giving this project a try. It is so easy to do and it doesn't take very long at all to make them. Like I said, sewing on the purse frame is a little fidgety, but quite frankly, it's worth the effort, and they're just so cute to have. So give this project a try. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there are loads of videos for um, different sewing projects for the beginner and intermediate sewists here at Sew Very Crafty and head over to my website at www.sewverycrafty.com for even more sewing and crafting tutorials for the beginner and intermediate sewists and crafter. So thanks for joining me on this little uh, tutorial for this small project today and I will see you all next time here at Sew Very Crafty. Bye! Thank you.